Well, that's no good. Wedge solid. As you can see, the angle of this is quite sharp. It's quite blunt, I should say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the blade this way a little bit. Hopefully it'll make it look, cut a little bit easier. Because it seems to me like I'm trying to push a big wedge through something that should be sharp. So we'll see. You're a good boy. You're gonna get a treat later on? I think you need to have a little bit of a treat. Do you like treats? I think you do like treats. Is a good boy like a treats? Is your name Bandit? What about the other one? Chippy? Chippy? Chippy want treats too? Does Trip Chippy want a treat? Does Chippy want a treat? Okay, I guess it's treat time, huh? Who's gonna get it first? Chippy first? Such a good dog. Bandit's even better. He's a good boy. All right, go play. Go. Go. <laughs> or hang around with Daddy. All right, this is the one we had earlier. You can see where it's tried to split it a couple of times before those marks. And on this side. I guess this is gonna be a true test of it.
Hast du mal eine Kunstspirale? that worked let's go ahead and we'll pretty up a little bit get these the welding flash and stuff taken off and we'll put a coating on there just to stop it from rusting I'm not worried about paint a quick look at the edge it doesn't even get in it I went through off the camera about 12 pieces of wood split up in the logs and it hasn't even touched it so All right, let's get to cleaning this We're going to put a blacksmith finish on this. I have done it in one of my other videos. And bonus points to anyone that knows that can put in the comments which video that was, which tool I used it on. And also, this is going to be impossible mission. On my next video after this one. Um, yeah. Ain't worth anything. I'm just interested to see what it's going to look like when we take all the crud off. I found this in the field when I was out digging, and you'll see the pre the you'll see the video of where I found it. It was just laying there. Anyway, let's get some heat into this. You have to put heat, lots of heat in, and then you put the stuff, linseed oil on. And what that does, it gives you a nice rust protect, rust, a nice finish for the rust. Against rust. The brush is a little bit harder. <laughs> Thank you. 
a rag soaked with linseed oil. Put in the comments what you should do with this. Well, there you have it. I'm going to let that cool down. I think it's got a pretty nice finish on it. It's a shame when it, looked, it always goes like a dark brown. If I could keep that blue color, it would be awesome. But anyway, that's a functional little piece of add on if you have one of your electric log splitters. They're not that great when you buy them, but if you put this little something like this on, like or an axe head, anything, it makes it, a, it cut a whole lot easier. And anyway, this is a make it video, and the next time we'll be doing a restoration, so stick with me. Subscribe, like, share to your family, and you'll be seeing me in the next couple of weeks. So, see you later, guys.